A COVID update tops our morning rush. The state epidemiologist is now working and trying to find out how many New Mexicans have come down with COVID-19 twice. They've found that over 2,200 New Mexicans have had the virus twice so far. Since February, more than 7,000 fully vaccinated New Mexicans have also tested positive. 53,000 unvaccinated New Mexicans have tested positive as well. The owner of a Valencia County golf course is now offering a $5,000 reward for anyone who can help get his property back. The owner of the Tierra del Sol Golf Club says surveillance video caught two suspects stealing an estimated fifteen dollars to $20,000 worth of items. So far, only one person has been arrested. A repeat shoplifter is now behind bars. APD says Michael Johnston recently shoplifted more than $2,500 of tools and air compressors. APD says they were on the lookout for five repeat offenders, including Johnston. Three other people were also charged with shoplifting during the operation. A portalless man is behind bars after being connected to a stabbing. They say the crews were dispatched to West First Street on Saturday. It's where they found 41 year old Roy Courtney. Courtney later died. 33 year old Jesse Lujan was arrested and charged with murder in Courtney's death. Police have not given a motive. Erica. Here's a look at the school day forecast. Temperatures in the upper 60s this morning, making for a mild start to the day. You won't need layers as you're getting ready for school, and temperatures will be hot by this afternoon. President Biden will head to California today to support California's governor in the recall vote that's set for tomorrow. Governor Gavin Newsom imposed one of the country's strictest, co strictest rather, COVID safety measures and shutdowns last year, leading his opposition to force a recall vote. A poll released by UC Berkeley shows Newsom is ahead of his opponents. Police in Santa Fe are searching for the suspect in an early morning drive-by shooting. Officers were called around 4.30 on Sunday morning to help a 17-year-old boy inside the home near Las Acequias Park who suffered a non-life-threatening injury. He was taken to the hospital and later released. Anyone with information is asked to call Santa Fe Police. Bernalillo County has been selling furniture and equipment as it consolidates its office to El Verado Square. The county wanted to offer furniture that was affordable back to the community, so they held a flea market over the weekend. About $7,000 was raised. The proceeds will be going to the Birdco Quality of Life Fund. Erica. Here's a look at the Metro Threat Index. Low today, we will be dry and just hazy with hot temperatures. Two middle school students in Florida are accused of plotting a mass shooting. The Lee County, Florida sheriff said that a teacher at the school received information about a student possibly having a gun. When their bags were searched and they didn't find a gun, but later found weapons in their home. Both face charges, including conspiracy to commit a mass shooting. New news for you this morning. Israel says it's carried out a series of airstrikes at militant sites in the Gaza Strip early this morning. The country says it was responding to the launches of rockets. There were no immediate reports of casualties. Miami's International Airport becomes the first to use dogs who can smell the coronavirus. Two dogs will be part of a pilot program to find the presence of COVID-19 in face coverings. Dogs are trained to smell the virus presence in sweat, breath, and scents. Those heading out to the State Fair can expect a discount today. Today is $2 admission all day long, along with just $25 for ride wristbands. Also slated for today, the annual Green Chili Cheeseburger Challenge. People's Choice judging for that event begins at 1 p.m. Erica. All right, here's a look at the traffic maps. The maps are clear as of now. No accidents or slowdowns to tell you about. And here's a look at Tracker. Tracker. <laughs> Uh, look over the big eye. It's a hazy start to the day. I'll be, uh, the smoke will move out tomorrow. A look at this story. An estimated 400 pound black bear in Colorado has found himself a great napping spot. The only problem is the homeowners who live there say he's pretty much tearing it and staring, selling their couch cushions, uh, which has become a nasty habit for him. The homeowners say they're keeping their distance for now, but they're trying to find more reasonable accommodations for the bear they've dubbed Big Bear by next spring. Welcome back. On this day in 1988, an F1 tornado touched down in Bernalillo. It moved a 75,000 pound crane off of its foundation. Damages costed about $100,000. <clears> Time now for the five facts. At number five, those of you heading to the State Fair today can expect a discount. Today is $2 admission all day long, along with just 25 bucks for that ride wristband. Also slated for today, the annual Green Chili Cheeseburger Challenge. People's Choice Judging begins at 1. At number 4, Bernalillo County raised thousands of dollars selling furniture and equipment over the weekend as it consolidates its office now to Alvarado Square. 
County wanted to offer the furniture that was affordable back to the community. They say that they were overwhelmed by the large turnout at the flea market yesterday. About $7,000 of proceeds will now be going to the Burn Co. Quality of Life Fund. And at number three, it's going to be another near record hot day. Temperatures will make it up to 92 degrees, which is a good eight degrees warmer than normal. The current daily record high temperature stands at 93 degrees, so we'll be just a degree away. And number two, the owner of a Valencia County golf course is now offering a $5,000 reward for anyone who can help get his property back from a recent break in. The owner of the Tierra del Sol Golf Club in Rio Community says last week surveillance video shows two suspects breaking into the golf course's equipment garage and stealing an estimated $15,000 to $20,000 worth of items. Craig Tabbitt says that this is the third break in in the past month and only one person has been arrested. Number one now, the state epidemiologist is now working to try to find out how many New Mexicans have come down with COVID-19 twice. Something they say is rare, but with the emergence of different variants, it is possible. They discovered over 2,200 New Mexicans have had COVID twice after comparing the first positive test with the second. In addition, since February, more than 7,000 fully vaccinated New Mexicans have tested positive. 53,000 unvaccinated New Mexicans also tested positive.